Hi Colin, it's Saturday. This morning I was really concerned because I didn't think that I was going to be able to get a video up to you. The thing was, our internet was out. And look, the internet being out maybe isn't that big a deal for most people in the world, but for me it felt like a huge thing. And then I remembered that for a long time, basically all of human existence except for the past 20 years, people got by without having wireless internet access. What those people live with and what I lived through for about, I don't know, two hours this morning is the fact that I didn't have instant access to things. Sure, I still had my phone, but I didn't have the internet access that I'm used to. And it was weird, because I felt naked without it. But I realized that I shouldn't feel that way, because I can do plenty of things without the internet. I can still play guitar, I can still read books, I can still ask other people for help. I realized I need to get more okay with asking people for help, because I'm one of those people who always wants to be able to do things on their own, but oftentimes I really do need to ask for help more than I think I do. I'm not as smart as I think I am. I was reading a Crack.com article this morning by John Cheese in which he talks about personality flaws that are really hard to change, and one of the personality flaws he talked about was arrogance. Now I don't necessarily consider myself an arrogant person, but the more I thought about it, the more I realized that maybe that's how I'm coming across, regardless of what I think of myself. Maybe other people perceive me that way, and that's not how I want to be perceived. So Colin, I was wondering about the fact of how people perceive me and how that actually goes. Like when I'm ringing people out at Office Max, do they think of me just as that dude behind the cash register? Probably. They don't think of me as a complex individual because we don't imagine people complexly because let's be honest, it takes a lot more time than it's probably worth and that flag keeps tickling the back of my neck. Colin, I'm still working on the whole lighting thing and it's not really coming out very well. Right, but back to people checking things out at Office Max and more likely than not not checking me out when I'm checking them out at Office Max. The thing is, they don't think of me as some complex individual as a person who makes vlogs or writes music or tries to be a good person to his friends and family like they are. Or probably are. I really don't know. I can't speak for most people who come to Office Max. I'm sure they're okay, but that's not the point. The point of the matter is, is that they don't imagine me complexly. And the fact of the matter is, is that I don't imagine most of them complexly. Most of the time, I just want them to get out of the way because... They're taking too long, they're trying to write a check for a purchase that's only $25, and the fact that you don't have a debit card yet is driving me crazy. Like, I understand the checks are probably a more organized way of keeping your cash together, but at the same time, just get a debit card for the small purchases. You don't need to write a check for everything, it's not 1984. Con, I realize that I might upset an older audience, one that we don't have by men mentioning 1984 like it was a long time ago, but at the same time, things have changed a lot since, since then. Right, so back to our perceptions of people. So I realize that they don't perceive me complexly, and that I don't perceive them complexly, and that this is a problem because we need to think about people as people and not just as individuals who are walking through our lives and being, you know, like a nuisance or in the way or something. Honestly, one of the major character flaws that I see in most people is the fact that we're inherently narcissistic. I mean, we're told from a young age the world doesn't revolve around us, but it's really hard to internalize that fact when the only thing that you can perceive is through you. I talk about perception way too much in my videos, Colin, and it's going to be a recurring theme until I can get over this and get onto some new topic. Oh my god, Flag! Flag and I aren't getting along today, Colin. It's too windy in here. So Colin, inherent narcissism is something that we're constantly struggling with and struggling to get around, and we always think that people are thinking about us, perceiving us, and thinking about what we do and what we say more than they probably actually are. Because everyone else is walking around thinking about the things that they are doing and saying and, you know, wearing and thinking more than they're thinking about the things that we are doing and thinking and saying and thinking. Because most people think more about themselves than other people. And that's true for us. Which then leads us into like a circle of narcissism, which is really hard to get out of and really hard to fight. Colin, I think that I would argue that the key to fighting narcissism is just be aware of it. As long as we are aware of the fact that we are not the center of the universe, even if that's the way that we're constantly perceiving things, that's more important than actually trying to right the wrong. They talk about that in science a lot, where the mere act of perceiving something can change the outcome. I don't remember the name of that, and I don't feel like Googling it right now. Maybe give me a hint in the comments below, or tell me in your next video if you know off the top of your head, Colin. Going back to that idea, Colin, I just want to let you know that your two videos yesterday were both very interesting and engaging, and though I don't think that we should get into the habit of making two videos a day, the fact that you did it is definitely not against the rules that we set out, and I think it's totally okay. Colin, the ideas I want to leave you with today are that not having Wi-Fi can be scary, but also eye-opening to the things that you can do without the internet, which happens to be a lot of things, surprise, surprise, and the fact that we don't necessarily imagine people complexly and that the way that we perceive others and the way that they perceive us are going to be radically different, and the only way that we can fight our inherent narcissism is by being aware of it. Just keep those ideas in the back of your mind, keep creating things, and I hope you enjoy the song in the back of this video. It's by my friend Tyler Albertson. If you want, want to check it out, there's going to be a link in the description in the doobly doo and the thingy that we haven't named Colin. We're really bad at naming things, and I still haven't gotten on top of this, and I'm going to think about it in the near future. Colin, 
I hope I see you tomorrow. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and or message us if you're feeling like it. Colin, I'll see you tomorrow.